Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial with Oscar Lars Painting Studio. In this tutorial we're going to focus on how to do a forest basing moss effect. This is an add-on tutorial to how we did our basing in a previous video you can find right here. And it's also the effect that I used for my recent Sylvaneth commission. We hope you're going to enjoy this tutorial. Let's begin. The materials that you need for this tutorial can be seen right here. First you need a base that has gravel, concrete patch or any dirt like material on it. It also should have been painted. This base had been prepped like our previous tutorial on basing which you can find in our video section on this channel. You also need moss texture which is essentially flocking material. This one is nice because it's colored like moss so we can just put a wash on it once it has dried. You need paint as well. And now you can use whatever paints and colors that you want for this moss. But I used a slightly closer to a pastel green as the leaves on the Sylvaneth project I did was painted with a color closer to the moss color on the AK tub. But a lesion green is a really nice color choice for moss highlights. Uh, you also need PVA glue, a palette knife and a small bowl. In the first step of this tutorial, we'd add some PVA glue and some moss effect to the bowl and mix it all well together. You want the mixture to be wet, like right here, so that it probably adhere to the base. If it's too runny, the effect won't really be good and you won't really have a good sculpt. And if it's too dry, it really won't adhere to the base. As you can see here, the mix is very tinted with the white of the glue. The glue will dry clear, so you don't really have to worry about that. In step 2, we add the moss effect to the base and sculpt it. You can use as much or as little as you want on these bases, and your bases can be sculpted with rocks or tree trunks and add the moss effect to it on top to make it look super epic. The technique for it really is the same as we're doing right here. Next, we gotta make sure we clean out the bowl so we can use it in the future. Just drop some water in there and wipe it out with a paper towel. In step 3, we take the Ethonian Camo Shade Wash and apply it liberally to the moss. If you get some on the gravel, don't really worry about it, it will actually add to the effect. I will now use some Warboss Green and apply wet paint to the sculpted moss and let the pattern of the moss scrape the paint off of the brush. If you use closer to a dry brush, uh, the effect will be more subtle and it can knock the moss off of the base if you aren't careful. I really recommend using wet paint here, just carefully scraped onto the moss. In step 4, we're going to add some Skarsnik Green to the moss in a similar fashion to the Warboss Green. I'm a bit more sparing not to cover up all of the Warboss Green that's already on the base. And that's it! We hope you like this tutorial and that it will help you make some nice forest bases. This video was made possible by our amazing patrons who kindly donate to keep this public project going. If you want to become a patron, don't hesitate to head over to our patron page and pledge a subscription. We post some longer videos for more in-depth when we have an extra material to spare. You can also contribute to uh, this project by shopping some Oscar Lars Painting Studio merchandise. The links to these are down in the video description. Intro video was created by Robbie Shillstone, editing was done by the amazing Martin Kramer, palette, painting handle and brushes used are from Redgrass Games. Please don't forget to smash those like and subscribe buttons and thank you for watching and happy painting!